Hi, and welcome to Icelandic Roots. Today we're going to talk about interesting people and how we're related to them. Most of these people are famous in some way or another. To find out how you're related to interesting people with Icelandic ancestry, make sure you become a member and fill out the Cousins Across the Ocean form so that you can be connected into the database. So over here on the left hand side, click on interesting people. It'll bring you up to this report. Now, at the very beginning, you're going to see some semi-fabulous legends, and this is considered descent from antiquity. And it's from oral traditions and pedigrees, and there's many people here from the sagas and lineages of the ancient kings. And so you have to take it with a grain of salt, and it's in here more for fun. These are their person IDs, and you can learn more about them by clicking on their page. I like to start with actually number page number three. And if you go down the page, one of our famous ancestors who actually did live is Jón Erison. This is the farm, Grita, where he was born. Whenever you see something that ends with the S, O-K-N, that's the parish. The Hreppur, H-R-E-P-P-U-R, that means the county. And then the Sisla is like the state or the province. And of course, the country is Iceland. But you'll see their birth, their death, and their ID number. You can see down below that two other people have the exact same death date. And they are the sons of Jón Erison the last Catholic bishop in Iceland and an important figure in Icelandic history. He was beheaded because of his opposition to Lutheranism and the control from Denmark's King Christian III. Click on his ID number to get to his page, and you'll see that we have a statue of him, and you can click on this to make it bigger. This is Everyone has their own personal page where you can do charts of family, ancestors, descendants, in this relationship, which we're talking about today, a timeline of events. And he was the bishop at Holvar, and you can read more about him in English and Icelandic. You can see his parents, his wife, his children, and the plus sign means that we have more information on them. Down below, you can see an interactive map so to find out how you're related to him or to anyone in the database, you click on this relationship tab. It brings you to this page. Now I've already looked for myself, but to find yourself, you would click on find. Women are always in the database with their birth name. So you would find yourself, click on your name, and it'll put your number as person number two. The page you started on, the famous ancestor, will be person number one, your person number two. How many ancestors to find? The default is three, which is plenty. And I usually change the default show spouses on the graph to no, because it's easier to read. And then just click the calculate button. So at the top, you'll see Jón Erison, and then his son, Ari, and he also was killed. And then it just goes down the line, and it'll say, Jón Erison is the 12th great-grandfather of Sunna. And then you can see more relationships down below, but the top one is how you're related most closely. And you can click on any of these people to find out more and to see how you're related to interesting people or famous people in the database. And then you can go to modern times and something that most people want to find out is how are they related to the president of Iceland? So you click on his name, his number, excuse me, and find the same information. Click on this relationship tab. And since you're already in person number two, you don't have to change it again. If you're working through all the interesting people, you just have to go to their page, your person number two, leave the spouses on or off, and click the calculate button. 
and you'll see that Gunnithorlaceus is the fourth cousin two times removed of Sunna. So two times removed, if you don't know what that is, here I am the fourth cousin of his grandfather because of how the generations worked. And then fourth cousin once removed to his dad and fourth cousin twice removed to him. So my children would be fifth cousins once removed of the president of Iceland. And you can see that Randvig and Sigridur are the first people here. And if we would have had the spouses on the chart, they would have both been on the top, the parents. So that's how you find out how you're related to the interesting people in the Icelandic Roots database. And I hope you have fun.